What's up for May? Constellation Stories. Hello and welcome. I'm Jane Houston Jones at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Before artificial lights were common, many cultures saw pictures in the way stars were arranged in the night sky. The earliest star catalogs are over 6,000 years old, but the stories and pictures are even older. Cave paintings in southwest France show a great bull and dots which look like what we call the Pleiades and Hyades star clusters. These paintings go back over 15,000 years. In Australia, many aboriginal groups see the dark nebula next to the Southern Cross constellation as the head of the great flightless bird, the emu. His neck, body, and legs are formed from dust lanes in the Milky Way. Greek mythology tells of Orion the hunter, but other cultures have their own stories and star shapes. In Australia, Orion appears upside down. The belt stars of Orion represent three brothers of the Kingfish clan in a traditional Australian tale. They were lifted to the sky for breaking the law. The Ojibwe and Cree First Nations of Manitoba, Canada see this group of stars as Nanabush or Wessakechak, who is known for his teaching and trickster abilities. Here he appears as the shapeshifter, Mistipu, the giant. Here he is pointing to the hole in the sky, the cluster we know as the Pleiades. His outstretched arm is represented by the star Aldebaran. The Cree people call the Pleiades stars Matutasen Asiniak, the Sweat Lodge rocks. The constellation Matutasen, the Sweat Lodge, is part of the legend of how Stone Child was instructed to build a domed sweat lodge over the Sweat Lodge rocks. When heated, the spirits of the rocks are released. The Milky Way is called the Summer Bird's Path by the Cree because it traces the path of migratory birds. The Cree see Niska the Goose flying down the Summer Bird's Path. Others see this constellation as Cygnus the Swan. Future generations will have a hard time seeing the constellations described in our legends because the lights of modern cities blot out the stars. So when you visit our parks and open spaces, look up. If you are young, ask the elders in your family about stories they learned about the night sky. You just might uncover star tales and legends that otherwise would be lost. You can see NASA's images of stars, planets, constellations, and more at photojournal.jpl.nasa.gov. And you can learn more about NASA missions at www.nasa.gov. That's all for this month. I'm Jane Houston Jones.